in their child's lives regarding these specific things. Um, I'm Mr. Abdullah. I'm not going to be giving the, the presentation here. We actually do have some special guests from Access here who will be providing you guys this presentation. I highly encourage you guys, when you're done with this presentation, to provide us feedback uh, regarding any other upcoming uh, topics that you would like to discuss. But at this time, I'd like to welcome uh, Hala uh, Malah from Access to uh, begin the presentation. So if we can give her a nice round of applause. This is our mic, so if it looks funny, but this is what we need in order to pick up the voice. Thank you. So hi everyone, good morning. My name is Hala. Um, we're going to be presenting today in both English and Arabic. So I'll speak in English and then Maysoon uh, from Access also will be speaking everything else in Arabic as well. Sabal khair, Sabal khair, Hala Mallah, and Maysoon Matar from Access. And today we're going to present the presentation. Hala will talk in Arabic and I'll talk later. Sorry, I'll talk in English and I'll talk in Arabic. So, so today's topic is going to be about technology awareness, teaching children to have safe uh, technology usage, and then also how they can stay safe and then set limits as well. Okay, technology, technology, and and so it's with parents, that's the most important step that we can take for students, for children to practice online safety. Parents are the number one step in setting those rules and then protecting them as well. And then also for anyone who works with students uh, in the schools, it's good that we have this information to teach them the safety and anything they can do to stay smart while they're using technology. So, so there are a few different technologies that children are using a lot now, and a lot of them would include different uh, social media applications or games where they can chat with other people uh, in these types of applications. So the most important we also have would be the smartphone and then any kind of tablets. That's what we see a lot of children are using uh, a lot of now. موجودة على على السكرين هنا وكمان منلاحظ إنه معظم الأولاد بيستخدموا ال الآيفون والتابلتس كأكثر شيء مستخدم بين الأولاد لا لا يدخلوا على الإنترنت. And so the one issue with having smartphones and having tablets is that this technology is very easy to access. So the children can stay in their rooms. They're using them at school, in the car, anywhere they might be. So it's very quick for them, and then that means they can use it at any time of the day. So a lot of the risks are coming now because they're just pulling out the phone, the tablet, and then spending hours on it, and then they can use it almost anywhere. And so one of the things we also like to let parents know is whenever uh, their child is going out to play with a friend, spend time with a friend, we always ask them 100 questions. You know, Who is this friend? Where are you going? Uh, because you want to make sure they're staying safe, they're staying protected. But then when they're on their phone, on their tablet, we don't really ask them a lot of these questions. So they're communicating with other people, strangers, and then they're right at the house. We think they're okay, but they might be speaking to other people. We're not asking them these questions as well. So we're not really thinking about their safety as much when they're at home uh, on this phone or on this tablet. So technology مع أصدقائهم أو مع friends نحن نسألهم مع مين رايحين أو وين رايحين أما هلا مع استخدام التكنولوجيا فالأولاد بيكونوا في البيت بيستخدموا التابلت أو آيفون وإحنا كبيرنس كأولياء أمور نعرفش بالضبط هم على أي ويب سايت بيشتغلوا أو على أي على أي ويب سايت بدخلوا فإحنا لازم نكون منتبهين لهاي الناحية و 
متاكدين انهم هم بيدخلوا على مواقع ما بتسبب بتسبب لهم مش اي ضرر So before we go into all the different dangers and how we can protect the children uh, there are some benefits to technology so they can benefit a lot from all the different tools online for education to help them with learning they can also learn new skills so now they're able to access all this information online right away so different libraries anything for school anything for their homework and they're also able to learn different languages listen to books read books and then also to study things for their tests or for anything for their schoolwork so instead of having to leave the house go to the library they can quickly and conveniently access this right at home which can really help them with their education do you want to go bit by bit okay it can also help with their socialization and also their relationship building so now they're able to connect with others in positive ways in ways that benefit them and they're also able to learn different communication skills as well so especially during the pandemic everyone was at home and then instead of feeling isolated and disconnected the children and even adults were able to connect to people now and then communicate with them to reduce the isolation they might have been feeling And then it also helps with their creativity and also being able to express themselves digitally. So they have many different tools, many different applications that can help them with creating artwork or anything that they might be interested in. They might like writing, uh, playing an instrument. Now they're able to share it with hundreds of people and it can really benefit them in many different ways. Okay, so we're going to start the presentation by talking about the positive things in using this technology in these days. فأول شيء إيجابي إنه هي بتدعم التعليم إنها بتعطي فرص جديدة للأولاد إنهم يحسنوا تعليمهم من خلال إنهم هم بيدخلوا على أبليكيشنز وتطبيقات جديدة بتساعدهم في دراستهم زي تطبيقات بتساعد على تحسين اللغة على الأوديو بوكس إنهم بيسمعوها للكتب عن طريق عن طريق انهم يسمعوا لها بدل ما يقروها. Also في في الفلاش كاردز بيستخدموها برضه للدراسه. آه كمان بتساعد على تحسين التواصل الاجتماعي بين الاولاد وبعضهم البعض فخاصه في خلال الباندميك والكوفيد 19 كثير من الاولاد كانوا معزولين في البيوت فهذا ساعدتهم انهم يتواصلوا مع بعضهم البعض وخففت من تاثير الكوفيد 19 عليهم من ناحيه اجتماعيه. البنفيت الثالثه انه هي بتعمل بتشجع الناحيه الكرياتيفيتي الابداعيه عند الاطفال فكثير في تطبيقات بتخلي الاطفال الاولاد يشاركوا ابداعاتهم سواء بال بال بالكتابه بالموسيقى وبيشاركوها مع العالم كلهم مع مع العالم كله فهي وسيله جيده لهم انهم يوصلوا ابداعاتهم للعالم كله So now we go into some of the harms of using the technology, especially with children. And a lot of the harms are coming from a lack of balance. So if there are no limits that are set, uh, no balance is being set. And this can also happen with no schedule for technology use. So like I said earlier, children can pull out their phone, their smart device, use it almost anywhere and at any time of the day. And it's especially been said that technology isn't recommended to be used within two hours of going to sleep. But we know everyone adults and a lot of the youth are on their phone even a couple minutes before they're about to go to sleep so from the time they're back from school they're finished with everything they might just be on their smart device right away and this is actually going to affect a lot of their uh, stress their feelings of being tired and not being able to relax or really unplug from any of these uh, technologies and social applications and so that already causes a big issue because the children are feeling a lot more tired their attention is being spread everywhere and there isn't really that balance for themselves. And then with using technology a lot more, they're going to also be more at risk for any cyber bullying or cyber hacking. So this involves anyone trying to uh, take any personal information through cyber hacking. If they're not protecting their passwords, they're posting information online that they're not really careful with who's seeing this information. So they might be posting uh, the school they go to, where they live, and then they don't know who's accessing this information. It's just for the public. And then also they could be at risk for being harassed or bullied online. Sometimes we see it from students within their own school. They might be on social media and then you see that they're bullying each other. They're spreading rumors about each other. And then we see this with females being a bigger risk. So more females are more at risk for being victims of any kind of uh, gossip, any kind of rumors, especially from their own classmates. 
And then the way that the youth are using technology is also going to affect their self-esteem. So how they feel about themselves and how they view themselves. Uh, especially when they're on social media and they see all these different posts from celebrities or people who um, are labeled as social media influencers. So these are people who have a lot of money, a lot of popularity, a lot of followers. And then people, especially young children, start to compare themselves to this. So both uh, boys and girls are comparing themselves to those online and social media. The boys might see someone that has a lot of things that they want, and the girls are seeing these influencers that have a lot of things that they want. And then they start to view themselves as being less than, uh, why don't I have this, and feeling like they're not really enough. So now we're going to talk about the issues that are used by technology, and how the children can help them in their lives when they use the internet and the technology in a general way. The first thing is that سهل جدا للاطفال وللاولاد انهم هم يدخلوا على الانترنت متاحه لهم 24 ساعه بالنهار ما في شيء قيود ما في شيء سكجول او مواعيد معينه لهم فهذا بتساعد او بيؤدي انهم هم يقضوا وقت كثير طويل على الانترنت هذا بيؤدي لهم لمشاكل صحيه عشان هيك بنلاقي بعض الاولاد انهم بياخذوش كفايه من النوم فبقوا متعبانين على المدرسه بيقدروش يركزوا بالدراسه ومن ناحيه علميه كمان انه ضايت وقت كثير على الانترنت بتاثر على الهرمونز اللي بالجسم فاذا بتقضي وقت كثير طويل بيؤدي انه هرمون الستريس بيزيد في الجسم بينما هرمون النوم بيقل فلازم احنا عشان نساعد في تخفيف الاضرار هاي انه نحط سكجول معين ونقطع استخدام الانترنت على الاقل ساعتين قبل النوم عشان نساعد الاولاد انهم ياخذوا كفايتهم من النوم و والهرمونز اللي بالجسم تكون بالانس بطريقه طريقه كويسه. ااا آه القضيه الثانيه او الايفكت الثاني الهارم ايفكت الثاني اللي ممكن انه يتعرضوا عليهم الاولاد التنمر على الانترنت والاستخدام معلوماتهم بطريقه مش مضبوطه، فالاولاد لانهم سن صغير بيعرفوش بالضبط ايش شو المعلومات اللي يحطوها على الانترنت وشو المعلومات اللي ما يحطوهاش، فممكن انهم كثير من الاشخاص ياخذوا منهم يسحبوا منهم معلومات البنك، معلومات وين ساكنين، اي مدرسه بروحوا، فهي كثير خطيره لازم نوعيهم عليها. كمان ممكن يكونوا عرضه للتنمر على الاونلاين، احنا بنسمع كثير في الايام الاخيره كيف الاولاد بتم التنمر عليهم وكيف بيحكوا لهم اشياء مش كويسه وفي بعض الاحيان بيؤدي الى اشياء كثير خطيره عند الاولاد. فبعض الدراسات بتقول انه اه 59% من الـ الـ الاولاد اللي بيعيشوا في الولايات المتحده بتعرضوا للتنمر على الاونلاين وهذا بخليهم كثير بياثر عليهم وعلى تطورهم في 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 المستقبل وكمان بنفس الدراسه بتقول انه البنات او الفيميلز بتعرضوا اكثر للتنمر بحيث انهم هم بيكونوا عرضه اكثر لل للاشاعات وللكلام اللي مش كويس على الانترنت. آه السبب الثالث او الهارم الثالث اللي ممكن انه يتعرضوا له الاولاد انه آه بتع... بت... بتاثر على السلف استيم او على طريقتهم في انهم كيف يشوفوا حالهم، فكثير من الاولاد بقارنوا حالهم الاولاد والبنات بقارنوا حالهم بس بالمشاهير اللي بيطلعوا على الانترنت وعلى التطبيقات المختلفه، فهم بضلهم يقارنوا حالهم يقارنوا آه، الاشياء اللي عندهم السليبرتيز اللي بورجوها على الانترنت وليش الاولاد بيقولوا احنا احنا ما عندناش نفس الاشياء هاي فهي المقارنه ممكن تفيد بطريقه ايجابيه لكن برضه ممكن انها تضر وتضر بتاثر على ثقه الاولاد بحالهم الاولاد والبنات طبعا and then a few more of the harms that can come from using different technology for the youth would be isolation so although they can connect with others online, they can speak with others online, when they're spending a lot of time alone using this technology, they might be isolated from people who are actually in their home or their actual friends. So the more time that they spend uh, online is less time spent with family, with friends, face to face. And then they lose out on that sense of contributing with others, uh, with their community, with their school. And then that can lead to that sense of isolation. It can also lead them to access any age-inappropriate uh, websites, any age-inappropriate pictures or content. And then they may also share kind of material with their friends, which may lead them then to damage relationships or to harm their relationships. So they kind of feel like they may humiliate themselves or others online. So again, this connects with that uh, cyberbullying, maybe spreading rumors about their classmates 
or again, being a victim of those rumors. And then there might be that risk of dangerous interactions, so speaking to strangers, or again, someone might be lying about their identity, and then the child may be speaking with them thinking they're speaking to someone their age when it's not someone their age. So someone who might be misleading them. In the things that are related to the technology, the isolation or the social distancing, or the fact that the children, because they have spent a long time on the internet, فهذا بيقلل الوقت اللي عم بيقضوه مع اصدقائهم مع عائلاتهم مع في البيت فهذا بيؤدي انه انهم يبعدوا عن اي مشاركه شخصيه مع مع الاهل او مع المجتمع او مع الاصدقاء النقطه الثانيه انهم الانترنت عالم مفتوح فهم بياخذوا عندهم فرصه انهم يدخلوا على اي ويب سايت في اي مكان في العالم فهذا بعرضهم انهم هم يدخلوا على مواقع وعلى معلومات تكون مش مناسبه لسنهم اكبر من سنهم ومش كويسه يعني ما بتتوافق مع 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 عمرهم الخطر الثالث انه هي ممكن انه خلال تفاعلهم مع الانترنت انه في ناس بيستخدموا الانترنت لاغراض مش كويسه فانهم بيخفوا هويتهم وبقدموا حالهم على انهم ناس بعمر هذا الاولاد او هذول البنات بصيروا يحكوا معهم على اساس انهم ياخذوا منهم معلومات وبطريقه انهم يضروهم بالمستقبل. So now we know a bit about the harms and then again about the benefits of technology use and any kind of ways that we can protect children. And again, parents play the most important role. So everyone here is being able to use this information and then take this with them to their child and to their homes to teach their child any kind of ways to start using better judgment um, in order to be safe online. So we know uh, we can't really blame a lot of the youth. They don't always use good judgment. They don't always make the right choices. Uh, but wherever possible is where we can play the role to teach them these things. And this is a skill that we can teach children uh, to help them moving forward. Okay, thank you. So, the 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 هم الخط الدفاع الاول في حمايه الاطفال او الاولاد بشكل عام، الاولاد سنهم صغير فبكونوا ما عندهم مش خبره بالحياه، تفكيرهم على قد يعني ما بكون آه واعي بشكل بشكل كبير انه يقدر الاخطار والاشياء اللي ممكن انها تصير من وراء مشاركتهم لمعلوماتهم على الانترنت او تفاعلهم بطريقه خطا على الانترنت، فعشان هيك لازم انه احنا كاباء انه نتعلم ونعلم اولادنا طريقه التعامل على الانترنت نوعيهم ونحكي معهم على اهميه ومخاطر استخدام الانترنت so one way to start teaching children the safe technology use would be to pay attention and then know what websites they're using and then what websites they're accessing and then also setting rules for youth when they're using technology so the best way is to let the youth or tell your child to use their phone, use their tablet in a place that's open and common. So instead of sitting in their room, sitting alone, to try to get them to use these kinds of devices in the living room or where everyone in the family is sitting. So that way you don't have to be staring at their device, but at least you know what they're accessing and what they're doing, just so you have some sort of idea. So you know, okay, they're playing a game that I know about, um, and then they're not getting themselves into kind of harms or dangers. And that also limits the amount of time that they spent on these technologies as well. فشو احنا ممكن نعمل كاهالي على اساس انه نقلل من مخاطر استخدام الانترنت والاشياء الخطره للانترنت تاثيرها على اولادنا انه احنا نتاكد من انه الويب سايت اللي بدخلوا عليها الاولاد نشوف شو هي نشوف اذا هي ملائمه لهم ولا مش ملائمه فنعرف كل الويب سايت اللي هم بدخلوا عليها كمان انه احنا نسال الاولاد ان نخليهم لما يستخدموا الانترنت يستخدموها في البيت بغرفة الجلوس بغرفة العائلة ما يستخدمهاش نقلل من استخدامهم لها في غرفة النوم أو في, أج... في أماكن لحالهم يكونوا فيها فهيك أشياء لما هم يكونوا موجودين حوالينا أو إحنا حواليهم في استخدام الانترنت هم بيستخدموا الانترنت بنتأكد إنهم هم بدخلوا على مواقع مه... كويسة بتلائم عمرهم وكمان بتخلي إنه في تفاعل بيننا وبينهم ك... كعائلة <تصفيق> And then to also know the rules, so not all websites, not all applications are made for children. And then 
even the most popular websites that are used are made for children 13 and older or people 13 and older. So to make sure if your child's under the age of 13 that they're not accessing these websites, even the most popular social media apps. And then again, there's many websites, many applications that are made for children um, and stuff that they can access online that they can still benefit from. فاحنا بنأكد أكيد على إنه لازم نحكي مع أولادنا على إنهم يكونوا متأكدين إنه الويب سايت اللي بدخلوا عليها إنها ملائمة لعمرهم وإنها ما بتشكلش أي خطر عليهم. في كثير من الويب سايتس بتكون هي مناسبة لعمر 13 أند أولدر. فهذه بدنا نشوف نتأكد منها إذا هي ملائمة لأطفالنا أو على حسب عمر الأولادنا بأي عمر هم بدخلوا على الإنترنت. لازم نكون عارفين كمان انه في سايتس كثيره ويب سايتس كثيره مخصصه لعمر اولادنا او للاولاد الصغار، لازم احنا نعمل دراسه ونتعرف على هاي الويب سايتس ونعرف اولادنا عليها عشان يستخدموها ونتاكد انهم هم ما يستخدموش تطبيقات او ويب سايتس اكبر من عمرهم. So now we'll get into some different ways where you can start to set safe internet usage or safe website usage, application usage for your children. And the first and most important step would be to use parental controls. So wherever possible, uh, making sure that parental controls are being used. And then this helps you to uh, set limits and limit what kind of content that children are accessing. And it also allows you to check any kind of social media privacy settings that the children are using. And you also will be able to monitor uh, their screen time, how long they're spending on devices, and all these different applications. Also, letting your child know technology is a privilege, it's not a right, so it can be taken away from them, especially if they're not listening to your rules, and that they can also uh, make sure that this is not something they can just keep using. So if they, don't go, if they go against your rules, to know that you can take this away from them, or you're able to at least set these different rules for them. And then as much as possible, if your children are using some sort of social media, some sort of online communication websites, to make sure you're following along uh, their information, their profiles, and you don't have to know, like, disrespect their privacy, but at least you know what they're doing and then what they're accessing as well. فمن بعض الأشياء اللي إحنا ممكن نعملها عشان نقلل خطر الإنترنت على أولادنا إنه إحنا نستخدم ال parental controls. The parental controls هي إنه إحنا ميزة بال بالأونلاين إنه بتعطينا إحنا كأهالي إنه إحنا نحدد ال الويب سايت اللي بيقدروا اولادنا يدخلوا عليها او ما ما يقدروش يدخلوا عليها كمان تعطينا ميزه انه احنا نحدد الوقت قديش وقت بنهار بعض الاهالي بيخلوا اولادهم يستخدموها لمده ثلاث ساعات اربع ساعات خمس ساعات بيقطعوها مثلا قبل قبل النوم بساعتين ثلاث زي ما قلنا قبل هيك على اساس انهم ياخذوا كفايتهم من النوم فهي الميزه بال بالبرنتن كنترول بتدينا هاي الميزات انه احنا نتحكم فيها عشان مصلحه الاولاد آه، كمان تعطينا البرنتل آه، كنترول انه احنا ان، 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 نتاكد من البرايفسي اللي محطوطه على التليفون او على الانترنت انهم هم بيقدروش يشاركوا اي معلومات خاصه فيهم على الانترنت فلازم احنا برضه نتاكد انه البرايفسي محطوطه بشكل خاص على على, على التليفونات او على التابلت اللي بيستخدموها وكمان البرنتل كنترول بتعطينا آه، الميزه انه احنا آه، نستخدم انه نحدد زي ما قلنا الوقت والمواضيع اللي بيدخلوا عليها والويب سايت اللي بيدخلوا عليها. النقطة الثانية انه احنا ممكن نعمل عشان نخفف اضرار الانترنت على اولادنا انه نفهم ونفهم اولادنا انه استخدام الانترنت احنا امتياز بيعطينه معطينهم اياه زي مكافأة لهم اتس نوت رايت مش مش حقهم مش زي الاكل والشرب هذا حق لهم بس استخدام الانترنت ميزة او امتياز احنا بنعطيهم اياها ف إذا هم بأي وقت من الأوقات آه عملوا ضد آه عملوا إشي غلط ما سموش ما ما تتبعوش القوانين اللي إحنا حاطينها لاستخدام الإنترنت من حقنا كأولياء أمور إنه إحنا نقطع الإنترنت لفترة معينة إنه على أساس نقول لهم إنه أنتوا ما قدرتوا أو أنتوا ما التزمتوش بالقوانين اللي إحنا متفقين عليها. آه And so we'll move forward now with a few more ways of how you can set these rules and how you can help your child. So the first step would be to conversate with them. So letting them know about the harms and benefits of technology, just like we talked about here today. And then also what your expectations are for their technology use. So what do you expect and then what are your rules in the house? 
And then also whenever you do set these rules to make sure that you're standing firm by your decisions and if they're against those rules, then you can also set those consequences with them. So your decisions for how long you want them to stay on the device during the weekdays or the weekend will stay firm. So if they tell you, can I please have another hour? But you tell them that's already the rule we agreed upon. So that's all you're getting for today. Or else if we start to switch between the rules, they'll start to know they can take advantage of these or they know you'll change your mind moving forward. And then as much as you can to educate yourself about technology, about the harms, the benefits, uh, just like you're doing here today. So learning more about what can happen and then how you can set these rules as well. And then reinforcing what's right and wrong. So making sure to let your child understand not to share sensitive information with anyone, to be careful of how they're using technology and then who they're speaking with as well. And to also teach them to be kind to others online, uh, just like you would teach them to be kind to others in person. So, من ضروري نحن نحكي مع الأولاد ونوعيهم لميزات ومخاطر الإنترنت ونحكي معهم عن الروز اللي إحنا متوقعينها منهم إنهم هم يتبعوها باستخدامهم للإنترنت. آه لما نحط القوانين والروز للإنترنت إحنا كبيرنت كأولياء أمور لازم نكون نفعل هاي القوانين مش لازم إنه نتساهل أو إنه إحنا ما نفعلها لما نقول. <تصفيق> So we're teaching also the parents here, of course, they're the involved parents, like with no, other schools. I don't schools need excuse, excuse me. I just decided packing for something is more, everyone needs to agree about that. So the information, the material we take, not just only from the social media, from the other kids. Because some kids in the school spread the lot of information is not good. I can give you a lot of examples. Yeah, can you share with so, us, please? Yeah, one example. We all or most of them want to say, well, Muslim. We have something they call culture. I don't have to do that. What do you want? Yes.
Okay, so we have about just two more slides uh, for today. And again, when you want to tell your child on any kind of safety technology use, uh, you can let them know about their tablet or their smartphone. Again, what kind of restrictions you have set and then what kind of time limits you'll have set and then what kind of content applications are appropriate and then accepted by the family. Yeah, uh, shukran. صورة عن اتفاق ممكن أنتم كأهل تعملوا مع الأولاد لإلكو تحددوا في طبيعة الويب سايت اللي هم مسموح أنهم يدخلوا أو مش مسموح يدخلوا عليها التوقيت اللي ممكن يدخلوا عليه أو ما يدخلوش عليه قديش بنهار سو so إحنا بنسيبها لإلكو أنكم تحددوا كل واحد حسب تقاليد وعادات شكرا شكرا and then the last slide we like to give some sort of resources and things that you can use when you're going to take this information with you. So we'll make sure this is shared with everyone uh, who watched today and who's attending. Uh, different kinds of rules, safety guidelines, and then different parental applications that you can be using to protect your child. Uh, Um, and so I know, you know, we know there are a lot of issues that face uh, students, families, communities, uh, but with Access, we're here to teach about the different skills you can use to protect your children uh, in terms of different topics that are presented. So for today, it's about a different type of technology, setting limits, setting the balance. Um, and this is all connected with our work and our aim to help the community and then make sure we're trying to make everyone live the best possible life they can, staying as healthy as possible, and then making the best decisions too. Okay, so we're here from Access. We're just trying to help the community on the right way that we can use it or use it with our children in the use of the internet. We're trying to give you information, give you information about the website that you can go to and read it and you can use it and you can take the decision. And then we're also with a program for the substance use prevention. Um, and so I'll let Mason also talk about this in Arabic. Uh, but the substance use prevention program is where we go into the schools, we teach students, and then we also teach parents uh, different kinds of skills they need and different information to help protect uh, children against any substance use behavior. And then we also teach students in the classroom how to increase their self-esteem, increase their decision making, and then that way we motivate them to make the right choices and make the healthy choices as possible. So we have some papers we're going to pass out. Um, and this is more about a, a group that we have where we have discussions in the community. And everyone is more than welcome to read about it and join if they are interested. Um, so I'll pass it around while Maysoon is explaining in Arabic. Thank you, Halafi. So we also like to talk about the program Access that we do. It's called ASAP. It's related to how we do the children. ونحكي معهم على أشياء تانية من زي ال كيف ال self esteem decision making كيف إنهم يكون عندهم ثقة بحالهم كيف إنهم يكون عندهم يقدر يأخذوا قرار بحياتهم هذا البرنامج مفتوح ل لأي حدا من ال community بحب إنه ينضم إنه يشارك آراءه فيه كيف إنه إحنا ممكن نتعامل مع أولادنا فأي حدا فيكو في فيو إنه يشترك عشان يساعدنا ويساعد المجتمع إنه هو والأطفال الأولاد واليوث الشباب بشكل خاص كيف إنهم هم يطلعوا بصورة كويسة بالمجتمع وعناصر فعالة في المجتمع فبنتمنى إنه أي حدا عنده وقت أو بحب إنه يشارك إنه إنه يشارك بهذا البروجرام شكرا هلا do you have more are you awesome so I want to of course, thank our presenters for coming in and, and presenting this topic to us. Um, the reason that we wanted to have this discussion with you is because we are seeing a lot of technology use, technology use that is happening at home and, and it's impacting our, our kids here. Um, I, I, for one, um, we've, we've been having a lot of, uh, you know, group chats and, and things where when I was a kid, and you know, I was a student who was bullied at school. Um, the bullied, the bullying ended when when the bell rang, and I got to go home, and the and the bullying was over for me. But but now, 
you know, if there's an issue at school, it doesn't stop when school ends. It doesn't stop over the weekend. We still have these issues. We still have this communication, the group chats and the Snapchats and the TikToks. It's all happening at home, too. And our, our poor kids have they have no escape. They don't they don't get any peace. And it's, it's affecting them mentally. It's affecting them. It's affecting them at school. And so we I I, I please I'm, I'm pleading with you to just be aware of, of what your children are doing, who they're talking to how they're speaking to people, the language that they're, they're using, because they're, th there's so many hurtful things that are, that are happening here. And, and you know, we, we want to say that our school is 100% bully free and that stuff never happens, but that's just not possible for any school. And, we're, and we are trying our best, um, but there's a lot of these things that, that carry over to home, home also. And, and we have students who are really suffering and are really struggling mentally, um, and, you know, and, and it bleeds over into academics and, and socially. And, and we just we want to be there for our kids. And, and, and this is a this is a newer a newer thing that's happening where, you know, we have to protect our kids at home now also. So that's why um, we invited our friends from Access to come over and, and have this talk with us, because there's just there's just so much going on that, you know, we, we just we're, we just are pleading for help from our friends. Uh, at home, grandparents, aunts and uncles, everybody, but older brothers and sisters, because even so I, I deal most with elementary, the stuff is going on with third graders, the, the group chats, the Snapchats, the TikToks that, you know, so, so it's nobody is exempt to, to this issue. So I, I really appreciate you guys coming out and it sounds like Ms. Knafford, do you want to give something that you'd like to add? Uh, probably I'll speak in Arabic since you spoke in English. Um, salam, uh, everyone. Uh, بس كنت حابه انه مثل ما مستر وينت حكى بالنسبه انه للمونيترينج الميديا with our uh, children uh, طبعا هلا وي نو انه الاشياء اللي عم تطلع على الميديا موست اوف ات لايك ان مونيترد وي دونت نو اف اتس رايت اور رونج اور ذا رايت انفورميشن انه المعلومات الصحيحه اللي عم بياخذوها اولادنا ولا معلومات مش صحيحه اللي عم بياخذوها اولادنا طبعا احنا اكيد اكيد كلنا اهل وكلنا عندنا اولاد وكلنا طبعا بهمنا بالنهايه انه شو المعلومه اللي بتوصل للولد آه الاهل هن اللي عندهم كنترول صدقوني انتم كاهل انتم اللي عندكم كنترول لهيدا الشيء كله. طبعا اول شيء بالتوعيه بدنا نوعي اولادنا انه شو اللي عم يحضروا، شو اللي عم بيسمعوا، شو اللي عم بيقروا. عادة طبعا ات ديبندز على الايج لكل ولد، في اولاد بعمر معين طبعا ما بيفهموا بهالامور، بدكم تحكوا معهم بطريقه معينه، وطبعا انتم فيكم تعطوهم التابلت او التليفون او اي شيء مثل ما حضراتهم شرحوا لكم بالاول. طبعا كعمر اكبر لما بيصيروا تينيجرز وبيصيروا انه هن عندهم أسئلة كتير وبيحبوا يعرفوا كتير وعندهم أصحاب وبيسمعوا من برا بفضل إنه كأهل إنه إحنا نقعد معهم لأولادنا وميكي أز أ ديسكشن بتوين أس يعني إنه لايك أوكي شو المعلومات اللي أنت حابب تعرفها أو حابة تعرفيها ك كطفل كطفل يعني بالنهاية هن أطفال تحت 18 وأنا شو فيني أقدر ساعد لأعطيكم الرايت انفورميشن آه المشكلة كمان مثل ما قال مستر وينت انه الجروب شاتس هيدي مشكلة انتو عم يمكن ما عم بتحسوا فيها قد ما احنا عم نحس فيها هون بالمدرسة طبعا هني بيعملوا جروب شات بين رفقات من بعضهم آه بتصير الامور آه بالبيت وبيجيبوها على المدرسة هذا آه الجروب شات مس كنافر صار او مس بازي او مستر وينت وفلان الفلان قال هيك او فلانة قالت هيك وطبعا المشكله بتكبر وبتكبر هون بالمدرسه وبتتوسع اكثر فانا على طول بقول لهم للتلاميذ عندي وين يو ار ادد تو ا جروب شات بس حدا يحطكم على جروب شات اول شيء يعرفوا مين اللي مين اللي عمل لي جروب شات از سمبري اي نو حدا بعرفه بعرف انه هو الجروب شات ادمن اللي اللي كرييتد ديد ات فور سمثينج فور سكول بيربس اور نوت Who is added on that group chat? لأنه في group chats عم بتصير from different schools. يعني بيكون one group chat your kids and kids from other schools too. Well, they share things. يعني they're not supposed to share between each other. وبيحكوا مع بعض أشياء ما لازم يحكوها مع بعض لا بالمدرسة ولا برة المدرسة ولا على group chat. فأنا بقول لهم أوكي عرفوا مين ال members اللي بالgroup chat هي أول شيء. 
تاني شيء اوكي آه لشو الموضوع اللي انفتح عليه الجروب شات هل هو موضوع بخص المدرسة هل هو مشكلة انتو بتقدروا تعالجوها كأطفال فهيدا كله بدكم تفكروا فيه قبل ما you accept to be added to any group chat and let's say انا بقول لهم صرتوا already بانتو اهل اهل group chat حدا added you guys which is snapchat now we know and all these apps they add you without your permission all what you can do is exit exit and block that number if you cannot control that person اذا ما فيكم تعملوا كنترول لهالشخص انه اللي عم بيعمل الجروب شات block block the number أه صدقوني احنا اخترنا هيدا الموضوع اليوم لانه احنا عم نعاني منه كادمنز كتيتشرز بقلب المدرسه اكثر يمكن منكم كاهل بقلب البيت أه اللي بلاحظوا كمان انا كثير انه في كثير اهالي ليسكتوا الولد او الولد يبعد عن طريقهم او اي شيء بيعطوه التليفون او التابلت او اي شيء جاست بي اوكيبايد وهيدا اخطر شيء احنا بنعمله كاهل اخطر اخطر شيء لانه احنا ما بنعرف هو شو عم بيطلع او شو عم بيحضر او هالشيء اللي عم بيحضره شو عم بياثر على دماغه على تفكيره على كل شيء عم بيصير حواليه آه صدقوني هيدا موضوع كثير مهم فاحنا هلا وي جونا اوبن ذا فلور اذا حدا بيحب يسال باي موضوع انه هاو تو كنترول ذا بيرنت كنترول ام جونا تيك ات فور يو وذ انجلش تو اوكي ثانك يو سو ام I just want to once again thank everybody that's here. People who weren't able to to make it but are are logging in online, we appreciate you. Thank you for for being in, invested in your in your you know your child's success, your child's mental health. Uh, and while you missed the breakfast that was here, we appreciate you know we appreciate you. Next time, I hope everybody will be we, just here. We we really appreciate you being a part of this. And if you have have any questions about how to help or or you know how to keep yourself your your children safe. Um, you can feel free to to speak to to any of the deans here at school. Um, Ms. Hala at, at Access is a great resource. She has a lot of resources on this presentation. Also, if you're able to take a look, I know Mr. Sheriff Fadin is behind the scenes making sure you guys can see all this stuff. But we really appreciate you guys logging in and joining us. Uh, we're going to end the broadcast now, and we'll open it up to to questions and conversation with our uh, with our audience here. So, thank you. And uh, thank you. HES Academies have been serving the Detroit metro area for over 23 years, promoting academic excellence, leadership, and cultural diversity, ranking as some of the top schools in the state of Michigan. Our pre-K through 12th grade students enjoy tuition-free, state-accredited education by STEM-certified and highly qualified staff with no geographical restrictions, and with advanced placement, college dual enrollment, scholarship, and Arabic language programs. Nor International Academy in Sterling Heights at NIAPSA.org. Star International Academy in Dearborn Heights and in Canton at StarPSA.org. Universal Academy in Detroit at UniversalPSA.org. And Universal Learning Academy in Westland at ULAPSA.org. Join HES Academies today and enjoy a free Chromebook for every enrolled student.